Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's finally here. And if you can't tell, I'm excited. This thing is huge. I mean, okay, let's see if you guys see all those closet doors. It's like one of those blue big old package tubs you have. This thing will fill it up. So I'm going to be just documenting me assembling this guy, setting it up, and hopefully having a first 3D print bun done by tonight. All right, uh, the beast is done. Uh, it took me about an hour. <laughs> All it is is just connecting that ridge of sorts, you want to call it, those brackets, and this guy right here, <sighs> and the wires. You would think that would be very easy to do. It wasn't. It's not really accessible. All of it's just like these wires here <sighs> the, on the accesses are very inaccessible. And then, I mean... That one was self-explanatory. That one was easy. This, they use these bolts. I don't know if you'll be able to see down there. Yeah, they have to go sideways and they wouldn't fit that way and that took forever. And then, you know, what this is on, there's holes on the other side of this and it was really hard and I was really scared to not damage this printer that I just got while getting on an angle and doing it by myself. So, uh, yeah, it took an hour, you know, it could be worse, but, uh, yeah, here it is. We're going to power it on. I'm so excited. All right. We just flip the switch here. Okay, made some clicking noises. I don't know if that's good or bad. You know what's on? <laughs> there you go, there you have it. It is on. 17 degrees and 18 degrees. Bed and the tip. Well, I'll be going through setting it up. Uh, with the heat and all that and the filament, and I'll be right back with you guys. Doing it by itself. Uh, word for newbies that, that the bed goes past the corner, so you want to have some room there. So it's uh, just doing this little leveling by itself. Um, everyone has issues with these, so uh, we'll see how mine goes. So uh, I'm on the version 2. It, it's got that weird little white looking thing there. Uh, I was looking at videos for the version one uh cr 10 pro uh for the auto bed leveling and they were slightly different because of that if you can see it there's a dot right there this thing kept lowering um because it was off and i had it it had it done correctly the first time with the auto bed leveling then i followed the tutorial to make sure and yeah that happened that's okay you can easily swap this out um but it seems to be leveled correctly now i have it up there i loaded in the filament so next thing is uh, starting our first print. So we'll see how this goes. So I uh, loaded in my file. Creality is nice enough to include with your $600 printer, this guy, it's got a micro SD of eight gigs and we put it in here on the side right there. Uh, my first print is actually a small little thin key. Shouldn't take too long, there it is. There's the file, I just, I'm gonna select it. And I'm gonna hit print. And, um, starting to do something. Moving like that before anything started. I don't see any filament yet. There we go. Is that some filament? Nope. Still no filament. Just worrying me a little bit. I'm not sure if I filled it up correctly. Guys, my first 3D print. Yeah, okay, I'm just kidding. Um, I didn't properly put it in there all the way, and I used this nice little refuel button. All right, you click it, and you did 10, and it got all that gunk out and the rest of it. So hopefully, attempt number two, this will be the second time you'll be seeing of me doing my first 3D print. All right, this is take two, uh, key. That's what we're printing first. I'm just gonna select it, hit print. 
and um, and see it looks like the bed needs to heat up to 50 degrees and our print will start see if it'll mess it up and uh, you guys will know uh, newbies experience the 3d printing because I don't think that's a good sign but we'll see hopefully because it does some lines before it prints I believe that should clean it out I'm assuming that's that line right there no clue why it's doing that. Okay, so that, wow. Okay, so that, that cleaned it off, and uh, it's making a nice little line here. And uh, that's the area it's going to be printing. The key in is there's going to be a little bit of a plate. See, it's already shoving something. It's moving it. See how it's catching onto it? I don't think that's supposed to happen. Yeah, that's part of the key. I don't think that's supposed to happen. We'll see. I want it to fail, honestly. Uh, if this is not what's supposed to happen, that's why it's a small print. But I'm totally fine with that. This is my first attempt. We'll learn. Y'all, this is the coolest thing ever. So it gives you a percentage of how much. Nine minutes have passed by. That's including auto bed leveling. And um, it's at 98% done. I guess that, that's 100%, huh? There it is. It's our first 3D print. Small little key. It's definitely a lot smaller than I thought it would be. But hey, not bad for our first print. I'll uh, take it off with my paddle and show you guys once this thing cools off a bit. I actually thought this would be interesting. This is my first time trying to take it off. I've heard some people have issues with this, and yeah, it's on there. I don't want to mess it up. It's very thin, so I'm definitely kind of messing it up already. Use my right hand. See if I can get this out better. I want to be really careful with it. Ah, huh? there we go. Got a little bit of movement. I didn't really wait. I mean, the print just finished, so I assume... You're not supposed to wait, which may be wrong. Again, newbie 3D printing. All right, let me just, if I got a hold of it right here. Let's just, ah, oh, there he goes. Bam. So, uh, the back looks rough. Let's see if we can focus. I need to learn how to do that much better. Um, top looks fine. It, it feels great. Um... It's very thin and small. This is not a normal key. Definitely need to scale it up, but hey, at least I know with what I'm working with in digital world is what this is in the real world. I'm uh, I'm happy. I want this to hear the noise of it. I'm on my second print in my first day of printing. This is going to be a Baby Yoda, which we will see in the end results. Um, but so far it's doing well. It's an eight hour print. <laughs> so it's going to take a while. 60 grams. So because people are thinking, how much does it cost? Everything is sold by kilogram. So it's really easy to calculate. 0 0.06 of 22 bucks is what this filament cost me because I'm kind of low on stock and everything. So it's going to cost me like $1.50, maybe two bucks. And it's going to be about, you know this tall so uh i'm pretty excited everything's working surprisingly smoothly you know everyone in the community says this is you know a hobby that's hard 3d printing and i know i'll have issues i'm sure i don't want to jinx it but um i'm impressed so far I, everything's running pretty well now i did have to do some cura settings for this file I had to learn about that so go check that out for your specific printers but so far on our 3D printing journey, it's uh, going really well. I'm excited. <laughs> it was worth a try. Just wondering why do you need a skirt or whatever those things are called. This this is why. Do you see how it's misaligned terribly? It, it caught and dragged my whole thing and it's starting to print it there. I was hoping it would finish just that little piece, but it didn't. You see how it's dragging and pushing everywhere? Yeah. Failure. We'll try again.